Uh, we're just let's just try to light this stuff on fire. It is, it is, it is catching on fire, for sure. Yeah. So look, it's definitely, it's definitely flammable. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't really, it wasn't really going for it. Okay, this is just an excerpt of the original Q&A. Um, uh, it's apparently uh, over an hour is too long for people to watch. So I wanted to break these into some uh, smaller bits for you. Uh, if you like what you see here, you can go watch the rest of it. Um, what we're going to be covering today is uh, toxic, flammable aspects of the foam. And then we're also going to throw some, uh, some of the funny yahas in. But here's the table of contents of the entire long uh, Q and A video. If you if you want to go check that out, here, there's a link right there on the screen for it. Um, but we're just doing toxic and flammable, and then some funny hahas at the end. So here we go. Okay, what's next? Lindsay and a lot of other people are concerned about my health with the fumes while working in these in on these projects, but also with the off gassing of the. Uh, with the off gassing of the foam just just being around in the environment as I'm uh, living or uh, traveling around and camping in the van. Uh, thank you for your concern everyone but I think your fears are mostly unfounded. Um, I'm gonna let Hotwire Foam Factory take the uh, take the question of breathing the fumes while you're working. Ventilation is always strongly suggested, but the smoke that you may encounter while cutting EPS or XPS foam is primarily CO2 and water vapor, which are far less harmful than other common art products like aerosols and paints. Okay, so fair enough. We're in a ventilated area, but the fumes aren't that bad, uh, even if you do get a few of them in your nostrils. Now, second of all, uh, the off-gassing of these things. So we're going to go and we're going to look at uh, some, you know, a website and let's just see what we can find here. XPS has some thermal drift, some very slow off-gassing of blowing agents over time. Over a long period of time, 50 to 75 years, the blowing agents slowly diffuse through the thickness of the foam. Okay, now as far as the, the, the danger of this uh, being in the, in, the, in the vehicle and it being flammable, um, uh, is, that's scary. I'm imagining you know, a foamy, fiery inferno happening here. But, um, you know, uh, Hot Wire Foam Factory says that you can hold a torch to it and it's not gonna, it'll, it'll self-extinguish. So, um, even though we're a little, it's, it's a little bit of a fire danger still in, in my area of California, but let's just, let's, it's always fun to play with fire, right? So let's just, let's just see how this goes. Um, you know, if, if I burn my house down, uh, uh, you guys really got to watch this video a bunch to help me buy a new house. But uh, we're just, let's just try to light this stuff on fire. It is, it is, it is catching on fire for sure. Yeah. So look, it's definitely, it's definitely flammable, um, but it wasn't. It wasn't really, it wasn't really going for it. Okay, but what about the claim about the uh, torch self-extinguishing? Let's just see here. Okay. It catches, but will it stay lit a little bit more? No. So that's true. It does self-extinguish. So how did the lighter get it going? Maybe there's the edge thing? The edgy, the edgy Bernie? No? Ah, thin edges and then positioning it so that it's it's feeding up it's it's ladder laddering ladder fire up the yeah i see so it, it is flammable but it doesn't want to burn it doesn't want to go for it well let's see if we can get it to go for it huh what do you say all these thin edges we're going to hold it in the right position to see if it will possibly go for it Let's remove my eyebrows. Yeah, even the drips are just melting into the self-extinguishing. 
Come on. Come on. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah. It's, uh... Look, if you want to start a fire, I would not suggest using this material. It's very hard to get it to, to, to burn. So, I think the conclusion on this one is, uh, first of all, don't let your van catch on fire. Uh, but is this a fire danger in the van? Is it going to turn into a foamy incinerator of death and, and meltiness? No. No. It is, it is not. But wait. What about the, the foam with the coatings on it? Let's see if we can get that to... I mean, it's kind of bubbling up. And it's melting behind there from the heat, I can feel. But, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not super worried about uh, it catching on fire. Um, usually, car fires, if they do happen, they it's it's donezo. It's gone. It's over. All of this other all of this other stuff in here is flammable. Um, wood is definitely going to be flammable. But um, in, in the test that we just did, I'm not afeared for my life from the flammability of of this material. All right. Moving on. What's next? Okay, John Dunbar says, uh, I usually trash videos like this. All I can come up with is a good job. Well, Josh, um, I guess lucky me. Um, but, you know, let's talk about this for a second, uh, John and other uh, YouTubers out there. Um, when people are trying new things and they're sharing their experience with you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't hate on that, okay? Uh, the... We're just trying to exchange information over the internet uh, to, to spark other good ideas, right? Um, if this would have been a failure and you would have not been impressed at all and wanted to say a good job, uh, you should still at least appreciate that I tried something new and I shared it with you so that you wouldn't have to try that thing that didn't work or that you could try that thing that, that did work, right? We shouldn't only reward the good ideas that end up working out. We should reward the experimentation and the uh, exploration of, of new and different ideas. Agree? Hopefully we do. Next question. NYX Docs says lots of love and respect from here in Iran. Amazing. That's awesome. I love hearing where you guys are from and uh, especially when that's international uh so please uh you know throw that in the comments sometimes and use the flag because i love flags more flags more international shout outs nyx doc everyone else and watching in iran let's get some foam cabinets all over the world huh marco t wants to know did i click to listen to you or to some arse play the violin First of all, Marco, I'd like to know where you are from, because I think arse is uh, usually used um, in the UK or in uh, uh, Australia or other uh, English-speaking countries besides the United States, maybe Canada, that are colonially European. I'm, I'm curious to know. Um, second of all, I, I, Marco, I don't know. I don't know why you clicked. How could I possibly answer that? Uh, third of all, uh, it's not a violin in that particular track. It's cello. Violin is a lot higher pitched than this one. Although there are parts of that song, I guess, now that I think back, that are in that, that higher pitch. But it does happen to be a cello. And other people like the music, you know? You can't please everyone all the time. Um, additionally, what, what does FFS stand? I'm really bad at these... Uh, online acronyms. What is SF? Let me just look this up here. FFS meaning... Oh. 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 You don't have to be that way about it. I mean, technically the guy playing the cello, not the violin, he's not an arse. He, he's a very nice guy. He's a friend of mine. Um, and yeah, like I said, some people, some people like the music. Yep. Yeah, uh, see? The pastor likes the music. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll have less music overall. Next. 
Ben Cannon wants to know uh, who are the 75 people. Oh, who are the 75 people that thumbs down it? You know, it's way more than that now, Ben. Um, I don't know who they are. Uh, maybe, maybe YouTube would show me who they are, but I, I don't know. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. Look, haters are gonna hate. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe it got served up to them and they were just trying to tell the algorithm, that's not for me. Um, I'm not into foam cabinetry. I'm into wood cabinetry. Um, so they didn't want to see any more like that. Maybe they were thumbs downing it for that reason. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. The vast majority of the, of the thumbs were up. So, but that's all, that's all you can ask for in life is that more ups than downs, right? But uh, this, this is a good one to end on. We should, we should wrap it up right here and just say that, you know, um, I'm not here. I'm not here for the thumbs ups, uh, or the, the subscribes or anything. Uh, the reason I did the first video and the reason I'm doing all of these is because I like sharing my experience and my, uh, uh, my ideas with other people. And you can like them, you can hate them, uh, uh, or neither. That's fine with me. Um, so don't feel like you, anyone's ever going to hurt my feelings uh, by saying I look like something that got swept out from underneath their couch or, uh, you know, telling me that my, my trim looks janky um, or giving me a thumbs down or not subscribing to the video. That's fine. It's no worries, no sweat off of my, off of my back. I have had enough, enough Q&A videos and not enough beers uh, through this process. It's very hard to talk and answer questions uh, while, uh, while drinking beer. So um, you guys enjoy, your, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of mine. Uh, just sitting here uh, in the sun, in my van, just chilling. Here's the next time. See you guys. What? Hey, goats. Yeah. Oh, hey, if you haven't seen the other videos, you might check out some of these things that uh, I, I put together previously or since this video. Um, I hope you enjoy them.